very much. Uh, I'm very glad to have this kind of opportunity to uh, share my experience and my uh, kind of uh, ecumenical journey uh, to here as a theological <coughs> professor. Um, actually, uh, I'm somewhat wondering where is your spirit now? Though your bodies are here, uh, according to my own experience, to cross the uh, Pacific or Atlantic Ocean, uh, whenever we have participated in this kind of uh, meetings, uh, first two or three days, though our bodies are there, our spirits are still over in the uh, Pacific or Atlantic. Uh, so in the sense, um, I can understand your condition. So. Don't be hesitating to uh, feel free. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and especially uh, this opportunity has been very, very grateful for me uh, to meet my old colleagues and my friends, uh, Clifton, Rodney, and Henry, and the other friends. Um, Actually, uh, my basic training, my uh, basic training in theology has been provided by Korean church and college and seminaries. Uh, then I got an opportunity uh, as an exchange student to learn some other cultures and uh, having an opportunity to experience a kind of culture shock uh, that was in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, yeah, so, and uh, that was my, f not first, but uh, some fresh experience to have KFC over there. <laughs> and their cafeterias always provide the chicken. <laughs> Uh, then I did my MA over there. I got back to Seoul and uh, I did finish my MDiv at Presbyterian College and Theological Seminary. Then uh, I went to Army as a military chaplain. When I uh, met a friend in the States, when I, had, uh, when I was uh, in Louisville, Kentucky as an exchange student, I participated in a, a conference. I recall that conference as a kind of youth triennium uh, held in uh, Wilmington, Pennsylvania. I met yeah, a lot of ecumenical friends over there, especially one of my uh, unforgettable experience was with uh, a, a, a female cult, uh, friend uh, who has been worked for peace in Africa. So we had a very fine uh, you know, time to chat each other. Then at some point there was a serious tension, but I didn't know that reason because uh, later I realized that she was very disappointed at my future decision. Uh, that was to go to army as a military chaplain. Mm. She uh, criticized me to go to ar go to the army, is and furthermore as a chaplain. How the military and chaplain can be harmonized? This is an oxymoron from his from her perspective. That was a shock for me. That was. Uh, a kind of uh, a initial uh, shock from uh, through uh, ecumenical encounters. So, at taking advantage of that opportunity, I that was my first exposure to historic peace church. Ah, but that kind of tradition has been very foreign uh, to Korean context. You know. From my birth, we, we are, you know, my life has been, uh, you know, driven in a kind of a very conflicted uh, uh, situation. That was a very uh, shock, in a sense, of uh, existence. 
as well as theological sense. Then, uh, anyway, I had to go to army in Korea uh, who, uh, the male, who is male, uh, we, uh, when we, uh, you know, evaluate it as a somewhat average being, then we will go to army. Then I go to army, so I go, went to army as a military chaplain. I did my, a kind of PhD over there about the human sinfulness and the, the structural injustice I've been uh, experienced over there. Then I was duty off and went to States again to do my uh, doctoral theology, uh, doctoral studies. So I did my PhD in Princeton Theological Seminary in the field of Christian ethics. Um, my first advisor was Charlie West, who used to be the director for the Abbasi Ecumenical Institute. Uh, from him, my perspective has been broadened uh, to the more wide ecumenical uh, context. Then my final advisor, after his retirement, my final advisor was Dr. Peter Paris. He's uh, so excellent. Uh, uh, professor who was uh, who is Afro-American uh, professor. Through him, I got the another challenge from the Afro-American perspective in doing theology, in doing theology, and doing theological ethics. Then I got back to Seoul, Korea, to do uh, my uh, theological teaching. So as you. As you will experience, Korean church has been uh, in a very uh, vital and very delicate uh, situation, context. Uh, so tomorrow you will go to the church from Gyeongdong uh, through Yega and Chungshin and Anglican uh, to Yeido. Uh, you can see the wide spectrum uh, in Korean so-called Protestant church. Um, then, uh, my first professional, but uh, with a voluntary basis, uh, exposure to ecumenical dialogue and theological consultation was the economic justice and reform phase, which was uh, provided by the uh, World Alliance of Reform Churches. Uh, that challenged me a lot. Uh, in a doing real ethics in an ecumenical context. Uh, that challenges a lot. Uh, with the, uh, a lot of our colleagues, I saw the name of Heidi Hessel. Heidi, you were here? Not yet. Not yet. Uh, she was the director uh, at the time at the Bosse. And with the, uh, the, the, the Uruguayan Liberation theologian who Julio used Peter, Julio de Santa Ana, uh, Julio de Santa Ana uh, was our our team uh, the, the team coordinator for doing ecumenical social ethics in the era of a globalized in the era of globalization. So uh, every taking advantage of the uh, summer and winter vacation, we gather together. Uh, and to do uh, present our own papers from our own perspective, how we do our ecumenical social ethics in the era of the accelerated globalization. That was our issue. So we have done a uh, very serious dialogue and study on that issue. The f output Outcome of that, our uh, research group has been printed under the title of the uh, Beyond Idealism, uh, published by, I think, Fortress or Westminster. I know, so much first. But why I'm, I uh, myself engage, try to engage myself in ecumenical dialogue or ecumenical studies that would be very helpful to do, uh, for me, uh, to, do, to have a very balanced view 
of the reality which is happening under the uh, sovereignty of God. As a Reformed theologian, to do ecumenical ethics uh, or to do ecumenical dialogue would be very helpful for me to broaden my perspective to the realm of God. So from that kind of uh, my previous experiences, uh, nowadays, day by day, my concern in doing theology is concentrated on the theme of the culture. Uh, especially in the context of the, uh, the analyzing or the trying to find the alternative to do against uh, for the uh, globalization, many people uh, are arguing on the uh, theme of the politics and the economics. Especially economics is a very crucial factor to analyze or to do a, a counter, um, to provide the counter, uh, you know, ways uh, for against the globalization in a, a pejorative sense. But we, I think, the, uh, we have to concern on culture uh, very seriously at the same time, especially when. I got a kind of uh, request uh, to, from my understanding, my job in this limited time is to introduce a kind of Korean context for doing theology or for doing ministry. Uh, uh, for my portion is something about culture. <clears throat> Why we, are, we speak of culture? Because uh, we share and meet each other. The, what do you mean we, the church and society, meet each other through a limited time and space. I think this is called culture. So for the purpose of cultural, for the purpose of communication or doing mission in the uh, Korean context, especially we, nowadays uh, our concern is on culture. So when we are talking about the relationship between the faith and culture, uh, we used to quote or uh, you know the uh, uh, use the typology provided by Richard Niebuhr. That was my dissertation topic, Richard Niebuhr. But I didn't the typology. I didn't uh, use uh, the typology of Richard Niebuhr in my dissertation because uh, many people has. Uh, Many people have their own prejudice against the typology of Richard Niebuhr. They, most people think uh, regard the Christ against the uh, culture type in a very bad sense, uh, pejorative sense. So our uh, Anabaptist or Mennonites, that kind of uh, the people from that tradition they are very dissatisfied with that kind of category or typolizing. Uh, but I think uh, from Niborian perspective, he has, uh, he, his intention was, was not uh, to uh, negate or deny or criticize the, a certain typology, certain type. For example, Christ against culture has own, its own merit or demerit. Every culture, every style has a very ambidextrous, ambivalent uh, reality, I think. So sometimes uh, Christ against culture could be uh, useful to describe our uh, doing face in a certain context. Sometimes, Christ of culture would be very uh, useful. That is my uh, basic, uh, you know, the, the, the perspective in doing or in using his typology uh, to analyze the, the relationship between the face and culture in Korean context. For example, so we uh, say the Christ against culture is like this, and Christ of culture is like this and Christ the transform of culture is like this. But 
when we are taking advantage of this kind of typology to uh, analyze the, uh, the types of engagement uh, of Korean Christianity to its own context, its own culture, uh, we argue for this kind of thing. We could argue uh, this kind of uh, points. From the Enlightenment period to the 1950s, we say that the Christianist contribution to social development and the independence movement was immense. So, in this sense, uh, at the time, Korean church has been very uh, progressive. Uh, to do uh, social works and to do uh, social activities. Uh, in this sense, in, from a perspective, we analyze or we describe this kind of activity as a Christ against culture because they protested against the major trend in that context. So they prohibit drinking and smoking and the wedding and the funeral customs, early marriage, ancestor worship rites, and traditional religions. Because at the time, that was very, uh, a very, very um, <coughs> critical period. So they had to emphasize a certain type of action. For example, prohibiting drinking and smoking. That is not the legalistic uh, you know, the, 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 uh, intention, not only the legalistic intention, but for the uh, taking, a, taking into the consideration of the, a poor economical context, economic condition. Because of the poor economics, uh, we have been occupied by the uh, Japanese power. So to get the uh, sovereignty, we, ha we have to increase our economic power. So we have to uh, you know, the, uh, accumulate our own capitals. When they observe the, uh, the, the, the lifestyle of the Korean people at that time, many people were so disappointed, they had no hope, hope for the future. So they... Uh, you know, jumped to the lives of drinking and smoking. So many Koreans, only Korean, only uh, Korean Christianity, put much emphasis on the prohibiting and drinking and smoking. So when we are understanding uh, that kind of context, so we can reevaluate uh, their, you know, the, the cultural activities in a different sense. But on the other hand, we can argue uh, the early Christianity as a type of Christ of culture because uh, as you've been you know, the introduced, uh, Korean Christianity in a sense is very consonant with uh, shamanistic. Uh, if you uh, visit Yoido Church tomorrow, uh, you will see a kind of uh, a analogical uh, similarity. Uh, you can find, the, uh, if we borrow the uh, uh, Bavarian term, elective affinity uh, between the uh, Christianity and shamanism uh, in a certain church. But when you went to the, uh, when you visit the other uh, Presbyterian churches, you see the quite strong uh, consonance between uh, elective affinity between Christianity and Confucianism. So when some people describe the Korean Christian, Korean Christianity, especially Presbyterian churches, they call it kind of Confucius Christian. So when the, uh, for example, when we go to to the Presbyterian Church in the States, uh, the elders are represented by the uh, various groups. So you can you have the uh, very young elders, right? But in Presbyterian Church in Korea, 
So if we have a called uh, elder, means elder, <laughs> old people. So this kind, this is a very Confucius. Uh, then, but uh, in from another perspective, we argue for the uh, Korean church's uh, activity in culture, engagement, style would be described as the transform of culture. So the, uh, taking the example of the YMCA and YWCA and many uh, uh, you know, the educational institutions would be the uh, you know, example for that. And from the 1960s, 80s, as you see, the, the reality of Korean churches in Busan, uh, they will, you will see uh, many uh, participants uh, who uh, are very uh, supporting our, you know, the rally or uh, our meetings. But you will see maybe uh, some, I don't know, uh, many or uh, some or uh, few protesters. So because we have many families, because our father is so big, his uh, house is so big, so our families are very diverse. Uh, so Christianity in Korea is divided into two streams, so-called ecumenical and evangelical. This is very strange. This is very strange, but this is the reality. In Korea, when we uh, talk about ecumenical, many people regard it that means very progressive. Progressive means not, ec not evangelical. That is a uh, very uh, uh, sad reality. But nowadays, that is the reality. This is, uh, was the reality until 80s. But I think from 80s, uh, but each own group has their own efforts to do cultural engagement. So evangelical stream, they have they put much emphasis on culture, even from their perspective, and uh, ecumenical group also they have their own efforts. I have to, yeah, Two, three minutes, yeah, always he cut, the, yeah. okay, that's good news, <laughs> and the 60, 90s to the present, uh, the agenda for the Korean church from 90s has been very uh, unique, uh, so many, the Korean church was trying to enforce the cultural identity of church. Uh, what is, what does it mean by being the church? What does it mean to be the church? Church, be the church, is the our agenda, especially against the stream of materialism and triumphalism. Uh, you will see the many mega churches in Seoul. Uh, this is our reality. Uh, this is the outcome of the theology of uh, church growth. Uh, but some people criticize it as the uh, outcome of the uh, kind of uh, theology of prosperity. But the reality is not as, that simple, I think. But the problem is there. So how can we be the church, be the church? So we are... Uh, making every force to renew the church in many senses. Uh, especially the cultural issue is very important nowadays. Uh, especially nowadays the church in Korea made a very cultural force to do public social reform. So public theology is one of the agenda, and many people nowadays, uh, uh, especially in doing a theological, uh, in a theological circle, uh, for them, the one of the main issues is to do public theology from their own uh, background. 
so in the sense, uh, Korean Jews needs or the uh, to make a more constructive uh, engagement or encounter uh, with the uh, uh, civil society, uh, we are trying to have a more transformative cultural perspective. Uh, that is, uh, I think that is the uh, major point that has been done in ecumenical theology. Uh, Jurassic and the other people do a lot of good work for the faith and culture issue. That would be very helpful. And the, uh, nowadays in Korea, based on that kind of theology, various cultural engagement uh, has been done in Korean society. So there are just strong ties with the civil society movements, many NGOs, and uh, I'm the one of the uh, members who are running the uh, Christian theater. Uh, <coughs> though Christian, but we are uh, film. Uh, we uh, provide various films, uh, not uh, adopted. They don't, you know, the, the commercial theaters uh, are owned by the big uh, money powers. So they don't film the so-called good films, ecumenical films. But uh, we import or we, uh, uh, you know, the, 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 uh, are helping the young producers to make the good films uh, to in, in order to engage the young generations. Uh, that has been very uh, help, uh, successful. So this year we will have a tense uh, soul uh, agape, Seoul International Agape Film Festival. So invite all the uh, artists or especially young film producers. That is the, uh, one of the, our agendas. Uh, let me finish my uh, short presentation. The practical test of Korean Church for Contemporary Society is taking into the consideration of our divided context uh, we ought to provide a vision for the unified community of North and South Korea, not from the sense of ideology. Uh, that ideology has been uh, dividing us. So nowadays we are trying to uh, build a more cultural engagement, a cultural contact with the uh, various uh, parties. The second one is uh, taking into the consideration of the accelerated globalization, we have many uh, migrant workers and migrant immigrants. So we need to accommodate uh, inclusive social culture. That is the, I think, the ec that means the ecumenical culture. Uh, that means uh, a certain culture culture should not be the a, uni a, a criteria or a standard. Uh, we need a more hybrided, hybrided uh, culture based on non-idolatrous self-esteem. So that is the ecumenical social culture. And thirdly, uh, we need for, to provide that kind of culture, to guarantee that kind of culture. We need more concrete political and economic system for human beings. That is our basic protect. Uh, to have ecumenical culture. Thank you very much.